Hey guys, Calf back on Bushcraft here. Uh, this is a two part video today. Part one, I'm just updating you on my uh, sheath. I'm um, gluing it now, letting it dry. Um, and the second part is on the uh, uh, buck saw I completed. So I'll set that up and show you. Alright, these are the components. Off. These are my two side pieces, blade, pegs, this is one brace because one side of this is too loose. Uh, these are the, this is the uh, brace. Crap. That's a trick to this. Make sure these are both lined up. That's the symbol box saw. And then you just chuk 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 saw whatever you need to. Oops. I was having some trouble with it earlier, I didn't know. Like it wasn't stable. I didn't know what was wrong with it. I found out this was too loose, so if you guys decide to make one, make sure this is tight. If you're thinking this is tight enough, it's not tight enough. Like, this probably still isn't tight enough, It's but it's stable enough. Uh, what I do is just sawed down one piece, and I split it, which is how I got these, so they're the same height. Took a uh, piece, old piece of wood, strong, this is actually maple. Took a piece of maple. This is without a doubt the hardest part, uh, popping these, cutting the grooves, and actually split a little on me here. Yeah, you can see right there. 
so I had to tie it, but it's working good. And then this side fits nice and snug. Uh, didn't really need notches because it had these like little indents here. So, no, uh, it's just a piece of hemp, a little piece of uh, ash. Um, and you can usually push the solder in there. Uh, and then just 21 inch saw blade and uh, oops, two ash pegs put in the end. The hardest part is definitely getting it all together and starting to tighten this because the bottom isn't held in by anything so it pops out so you got to be careful with that but fun little project I encourage some people to do. It. So that's my uh, Bucks Out video. Thanks for watching. See you in the woods.